The Kardashian family has dealt with a lot of cheating rumors over the years. Sometimes they're the ones being accused of cheating, and other times their partners have been accused of cheating on them. And I'm going to be breaking down all the rumored cheating we know about in today's video, and the rumors that could be true. I'm Mackenzie, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. In at number 10, Kim and Travis Barker. Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker has been happily dating Kourtney Kardashian since late 2020, but a new rumor might stop the relationship in its tracks. Last week, Travis's ex-wife, Shannon Mokler, exposed that the reason she got a divorce from Travis was because she caught him cheating with Kim Kardashian years ago. Mokler exclusively told Us Weekly on May 18th that she signed the divorce papers because Travis's alleged infidelity. To make things even juicier, Travis actually talked about having a huge crush on Kim in his 2015 memoir, and he claimed there was a portion of time where they were pretty close. But Kim decided to clear up these rumors quickly and took to Instagram to confirm that the rumors of them cheating were not true. However, it's interesting that Kim hasn't even addressed her own relationship issues with Kanye, but she took the time to clear this up, making people think it's kind of fishy. And at number 9, Chloe and Tristan Thompson. Before Tristan and Chloe were together, Tristan had a pregnant girlfriend named Jordan Craig. However, their relationship ended after Tristan started cheating on Craig with Chloe. The story was that Tristan started cheating after Craig got pregnant, and he claimed that he would change. However, weeks later, he was spotted out in paparazzi photos with Chloe. However, Tristan claims that this was not the case, and he was single when he met Chloe. He confirmed it on Instagram where he said, quote, when I met Chloe, I was single. The negative comments that are constantly being directed towards her are unnecessary. She does not deserve all this backlash for my wrongdoings. Both Chloe and Jordan have been nothing but great mothers to my kids. And at number eight, Kim and Kanye West. Before Kim and Kanye were together, Kanye dated Amber Rose for two years from 2008 to 2010. And Amber thinks there was cheating in her relationship. And Amber has been incredibly vocal about this. In an interview with Star Magazine, she flat out said, quote, Kim is one of the main reasons why me and Kanye are not together. She's a homewrecker. Adding, quote, he can't be faithful. And it's not just with one person. He's just unfaithful with a lot of different women. Amber also said that Kim would send Kanye pictures while they were together. Amber told Kim to stop, but she didn't. Because of this bad blood, Amber started many feuds with the family and has supported her friend Black China after she got in her own fight with the Kardashians. In at number seven, Tristan Thompson and Sydney Chase. A few months ago, an Instagram model, Sydney Chase, revealed on the No Jumper podcast that she had hooked up with Tristan Thompson while he was with Chloe. Sydney claimed their affair took place in January of 2021. Apparently, Tristan said he was single when they first got together, but Chase cut things off when she found out that was a lie. Things got even worse when an old clip from an Instagram Live went viral that showed Sydney getting texts from Tristan live, where he claimed that Chloe was not his type. Apparently, Tristan was drawn to Sydney because she looked like his ex, Jordan Craig. In at number six, Kanye West. TikToker and influencer Ava Louise made the first allegations that Kanye West had cheated on Kim Kardashians, with Ava adding that Kanye cheated on Kim with a male beauty guru. And this was the reason that they were getting a divorce. She stirred up even more controversy when she liked comments saying that the person was Jeffree Star. Jeffree ended up addressing it in a video where he said, quote, Jeffree Star is single and I've never slept with Kanye. After getting in lots of legal trouble with the Kardashians, Ava later admitted that she made the whole thing up. But a lot of people think she might have just been silenced by the Kardashians after revealing a big secret. Also around this time, YouTuber Cole Kerrigan tried to prove with screenshots that he was the beauty guru that hooked up with Kanye. Halfway number five, Tristan and Chloe again. Larsa Pippen is a former BFF of the Kardashian clan, but after she split from the sisters, she revealed a shady secret about Chloe. During an interview on the Hollywood Raw podcast, Pippin said that she was dating Tristan Thompson right before he started dating Chloe, saying, quote, I was kind of seeing Tristan before Chloe. Before Chloe or any of them knew he existed, I was seeing him. I had him come to LA. I brought him to a party Kim had. I introduced him to all of them. And then without saying a word to Larsa, Chloe and Tristan started their relationship behind her back. Larsa seemed to be a good sport about things, but that's definitely very shady. And at number four, Eunice Benjima. If you remember, Courtney dated model Eunice Benjima for a brief time, but they suddenly split and no one really knew why until months later. Apparently, Courtney learned that he was cheating and cut it off immediately. A source told TMZ, quote, 
Courtney and Eunice broke up the second week of July, shortly after their trip to Italy. Eunice jetted off on another vacation without her, and she says that's when he cheated on her, so she dumped him. Then pictures came out showing Eunice with Instagram model Jordan Ozuna. However, Eunice slammed the pictures and claimed that they were just friends. But Kim supported Courtney and clapped back telling him to enjoy his boys trip with the Pinocchio emoji. However, Eunice is sticking strong with the story that nothing happened. And at number three, Travis Scott. Travis and Kylie were together for about a year and had a child together, but they broke up because allegedly Travis was cheating. It started when Kylie saw some overly flirty messages on his phone in conversations with Travis and multiple women. After this, Kylie accused him of cheating, and in order to prove that he didn't cheat, Travis decided to deactivate his entire Instagram account. At that time, Kylie decided not to break up with him because she felt deleting his Instagram proved that he was loyal. However, around this time, the girl that he allegedly cheated with started speaking out and even showing pictures of them together. After that, Kylie and Travis split for good. And at number two, Scott Disick. Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian are the most on and off couple in the Kardashian clan. And a part of the reason for this is Scott's constant betrayals. Throughout the show, Kourtney has accused Scott of cheating on her multiple times. However, no one's been able to pinpoint if he actually cheated or if he started seeing people while they were on a break. Probably Scott's most famous case of alleged cheating was with Chloe Bartoli. The two were seen getting handsy on a trip together right after Kourtney kicked Scott out of their house. However, Scott claimed that they were on a break when this vacation happened. Finally, at number one, Tory Lanez and Kylie Jenner. If you guys remember last year, Megan Thee Stallion was shot in the foot after leaving a party at Kylie Jenner's place. However, apparently the fight that caused the gunshot was because Tory was getting too handsy with Kylie. Sources confirmed that Tory and Megan were dating for a few months before the party. And when they both showed up, Tory turned his attention towards Kylie because he had been vocal about being interested in her in the past. But Megan didn't like this, and multiple sources say that Megan started a fight with Tori because she felt like he was betraying her. This fight then led to them having a very tense car ride where Tori allegedly shot her. So that's all for the list, guys. Let me know your thoughts below. Also, please let me know, was there any Kardashian cheating that I missed in this video? Before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on influencers scamming. Jamie said, I got asked if I wanted to join in on Kylie's giveaway. They wanted 15,000 to be an account people would have to follow. Wow, that is crazy. I definitely believe you would gain a lot of followers very, very quickly if you did participate participate in that, but yeah, they probably just unfollow you anyway. Then Maria said, can we just talk about how gorgeous Mackenzie's hair is? I'm just obsessed. Thank you so much. I actually did a no heat hairstyle to get these like little curls here um because i'm just using so much heat on my hair and yeah i think it might be like a more common thing because doing my hair in the morning just takes me so much time i just need to you know cut down on that then vanilla said i wonder if the winner unfollows the users after winning the giveaway i definitely believe so i think pr probably what those um loop giveaways kind of run on is hoping that people won't unfollow them like i'm sure a vast majority of people do unfollow but another half of the people just like forget to unfollow all these accounts so they're kind of like you know banking on that but yeah i would definitely unfollow after i do a giveaway i usually unfollow the account <laughs> all right guys that's all for the video today thank you so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here if you like the video and want to see some more which you would like and subscribe to the channel below i've been your host Mackenzie smith make sure to check us out on social media and i'll catch you all in the next one